welcome to my vlog! My name is Rain and I will be your ICT student teacher for today. So the purpose of this vlog is to help you know the step-by-step -step procedures in connecting peripherals of a PC. The things I feel are most important for you to recognize in this vlog is how I will make it done correctly and accurately. Without further ado, let's start! the monitor cable to the video port. The video port here is called the VGA port or the video graphics RA port and the monitor cable is the VGA cable. A VGA cable is a device used to transfer video signals. It does this by acting as a link between the computer and the monitor or between the computer and the television screen. The color code used for VGA cable and port is blue. So remember that. The second step is we should secure the cable by tightening the screws on the connector. This one is stable and secure so we won't have any problem with this. Then, the third step says that we should plug the keyboard cable into the PS2 keyboard port. And same with the fourth step which says to plug the mouse cable into the PS2 mouse port. The personal system or PS2 is a 6-pin mini DIN connector used for connecting keyboard and mouse to a PC-compatible computer system. The keyboard port and the plugs on compliant keyboards were purple, the mouse ports and plugs were green. Moving on to the fifth step, plug the USB cable to the USB port. A USB port is a standard cable connection interface for personal computers and consumer electronic devices. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, an industry standard for short-distance digital data communications. USB ports allow USB devices to be connected to each other with and transfer digital data over USB cables. Next in line is step 6 that tells us to plug the network cable into the network port. RJ45 is a standard type of physical connector for network cables, which is specially used for Ethernet networking. The network port mentioned earlier is also called as an Ethernet LAN port. So we will just go into connect it like this, and it's done. The last step is to plug the power cable to the power supply. This is what we call the power cable, but today, we will not be connecting it to the power supply. Just for safety purposes, and it's because my teacher asked me not to. Yes, of course, in real life situations, we should do this as all of this are not functional without the electricity making it work. 